Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about movies I like that start with an E. This was like actually surprisingly hard to find. I was going through my shelves looking for stuff that starts with an E. It was never difficult. But I found three anyway. So, the first one is The Egg and I. I have the dog beside me, so if you hear the dog noises, it is because he is beside me. Contributing. Contributing? Contributing? Apparently a neighbor wants to chime in too. I can't work under these conditions. The egg and I. This stars Fred McMurray and Claudette Colbert. Claudette Colbert and Fred McMurray star in this comedy classic. Screen legends Claudette Colbert and Fred McMurray star as newlyweds whose love is put to the test on their wedding day in the classic comedy, The Egg and I. Just after she has said, I do, Betty, learns that her new husband, Bob, Betty and Bob, Betty and Bob, Betty and Bob, has left his white collar job with plans to raise chickens on a rustic farm located miles away from civilization. I get a divorce. Um, Betty tries to make the best of her situation in their ramshackle house, but never-ending repairs, a Melville, Mel, a word I can't pronounce, Melvillant, wood-burning stove, rain, ornery livestock, and a seductive neighbor, played by Louise Alberton, do not make it easy. There is never a dull moment in this heartwarming comedy that also introduced the beloved characters of Ma and Pa Kettle, played by Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride. So basically this city couple try and make it on a farm and it's just full of lots of funny mishaps and adventures and just them being silly and not knowing what they're doing. <laughs> has some bonus features. Um, it has a, I guess they're like little documentaries. One called Claudette Colbert, Queen of the Silver Screen. Another one called 100 Years of Universal, the Carl Landl era. Um, and then 100 Years of Universal, the Lou Wasserman era. And then it has a theatrical trailer. This also stars Billy House and Richard Long. Um, this is from the book by Betty McDonald, which I actually read last year, and it was good, not as good as the movie, but. <laughs> um, it's directed by Chester Erskine, Erskine. Um, it was made in 1947. Um, it's an hour and 48 minutes. 
It's in black and white. <laughs> Very funny. The next E movie is Escapade in Florence. This is by Disney. Escapade in Florence, Italy. This is a travel movie. You guys see the beautiful Italian city of Florence. Sounds good. This is part of the Disney Movie Club. Disney DVD exclusive. Our special presentation of the Disney Movie Club. Mystery and Suspense follow Annette Finagello. Mystery and Suspense follow Annette Finagello and Tommy Kirk as they play students studying in the enchanting city, enchanting city of Florence, Italy. As the two find romance among the city's magnificent art and architecture, they discover that her paintings are the center of an elaborate art, art forgery ring involving Florence's most treasured masterpieces. Danger soon finds them when they uncover the mastermind behind the plot and are thrown into an ancient dungeon. It's now up to Annette to, to save the day, but will help arrive in time? First time on DVD, Escapade in Florence features one of Disney's brightest stars, Annette Funicello, singing four memorable songs full of fun and adventure. This charmer is a must have in your DVD collection. I'm glad I have it. I got this as a Christmas gift and I'm glad that it was so good. <laughs> I like Annette a lot. I like her in the beach movies like Beach Party or Beach Blanket Bingo or Muscle Beach or there's so many of them. <laughs> From the 60s. Magical Memory straight from the Disney movie archives. It's 82 minutes. It's in color. And it doesn't have the year but 60 something. <laughs> um, it also stars Nino Castelnorvo. <laughs> it's based on a book by Edward Fenton, which is probably impossible to find. It was directed by Steve Previn. This fun in the sun art, art history. Um, Dungeon Escapades
last movie that I picked with an E is Eclipse, part of the Twilight Saga. This is the two disc special edition. The Twilight Saga Eclipse. This is the third movie in the series with Edward and Bella and Jacob and the bad guys. <laughs> vamps. The vamps. This one has a little sleeve. It's like raised up letters. It all begins with a choice. Vampires are werewolves. In the third chapter of Stephanie Meyer's phenomenal Twilight series, Bella Swan is surrounded by danger as Seattle is hit by a string of murders and an evil vampire continues her quest for revenge. In the midst of it all, Bella is forced to, tween, is forced to choose between her love, Edward Cullen, and her friend, Jacob Black. Knowing that her decision may ignite the ageless struggle between vampire and werewolf. This has special features. It has two audio commentaries with Robert and Kristen and Stephanie Meyer, Meyer, Stephanie Meyer, um, and Wick Godfrey um, become the ultimate uh, Eclipse insider with the six-part making of documentary. And you can see the deleted scenes and extended scenes. And there's a photo gallery. And then there's the Edward fast forward and Jacob fast forward. So I guess just to see the scenes with this those. Uh, characters. And they also have music videos from Muse and Metric. So it also stars Taylor Lautner, Bryce Dallas Howard, Billy Burke, and Dakota Fanning. It's directed by David Slade. Um, it's from 2010. It's in color, it's uh, 124 minutes. So those were some movies that I like. Let's start with an E. Eclipse. Escapade in Florence. And The Egg 